So the heroes have a responsible task to feed the baby. And what does she want? The baby wants french fries. Mm -hmm. Nothing complicated. We'll do everything. I know the recipe. It seems that you need to pour oil. I'll pour more. It'll be fatter and tastier. So for sure, everything will fry well. I'll fill up the whole pan with some oil. Let's turn it on and let's start. I'll use the whole pack because there are never too many of the french fries. Hey. Granddaughter! What are you doing? Oh! It's burning! We need to put out the fire quickly! Oh no 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 no! It's not like the recipe on YouTube! Oh. Almost burned down the kitchen and all of us! Oh. Better learn from grandma. Now grandma will show you how to do it. We'll take quite a bit of oil. Turn down the heat a little and put the potatoes in. So it'll be perfect. I'll toss it around and put it on a plate. What? Oh, how well it turned out. It's all for my granddaughter. It remains to add the most delicious ketchup. French fries and ketchup are the perfect combination. My granddaughter will definitely like it. And how many calories are in this dish? I'll show you how it should be. We get rid of excess oil. Then we wrap the potatoes in a piece of fragrant bacon and twist the roll. Just like that. Add a drop of cranberry gluten-free jam from Duro's on top. Just like that. And add some rosemary on top. The masterpiece is ready. I've come up with something better. Banana marshmallow trolley is so similar to potatoes. And if you add Hershey's strawberry mm -hmm. syrup, it'll be just like potatoes with ketchup. But it tastes so sweet. That's what my little sister will really like. <laughs> Finally, everything is ready. And the baby has already been waiting for her food. The dish from my grandmother was the first to attract attention. Classic french fries and ketchup. It looks really delicious. The baby obviously liked it. I wonder how she would like a dish for real gourmets. The chef took an unusual recipe, but it was not appreciated. And there was a gift from my sister. It looks like potatoes and ketchup, but this… Yes! It's a sweet marshmallow with strawberry sauce. Deep and eat. It remains to choose the winner. A dish from grandma. Yes, I won! Oh, it hurts. What will the baby want to eat now? Oh, she wants to eat sushi. What is this? I don't know how to cook it. Show grandma what to do. First, you need to boil the rice in a special way. I'll do it. Grandma knows how to cook rice. Ah, uh, sushi with nasty seaweed. I'd rather do something sweet again. Or sweet and sour. Let's take the sweet and sour tongues. Add whipped cream instead of sauce. Rub a marmalade eye and a few marmalades from Haribo. How big and colorful they turn out. Have you ever seen sushi like that? This is just absolutely perfect. Now you need to take a sheet of nori and cut it in half. It's all dry, it's breaking. How did you do that? Because I'm unprofessional, Grandma. I'm gonna cut some fish. Perfect slices. Put some rice on the mat. And some nori. I twist it with the mat. Put some fish on top. Cut it. And that's it. Classic Philadelphia roll with ginger and wasabi is ready. <laughs> Granny can't make these rolls of yours. They don't keep their shape. I have an idea. I'm just gonna cut some cucumbers. Get rid of the center and put rice in it. Perfect. <laughs> now it's time for the baby to try it. Let's start with these. Sushi from the chef looks perfect. And it tastes incredible. What a big and bright roll. And very, very tasty. So delicious that she immediately chose them as the winner. This time, a sweet gift from my sister overcame everyone. Oh, you haven't tried mine. Hey, grandma, wake up. 
The granddaughter wants something delicious again. She wants to drink a chocolate cocktail for dessert. This is my favorite recipe. We'll need some ice cubes. I'll pour more chocolate sauce into the jar. Starbucks milk chocolate to the brim. And I'll create some milk foam with a hand mixer. Oh, um, sorry, Grandma. You got too close. What is this bag in Grandma's hands? Instant coffee three in one? Is she really going to give this to her granddaughter? Yeah, but it seems that Grandma herself likes it. Now add the whipped cream. I often cook myself such a recipe. By the way, don't forget about yourself. Sprinkle the Oreo cookie crumbs on top. Put the cookie on. Such a cocktail should be drunk through a straw. That's it! The perfect chocolate milkshake. Who cooks it like that? That's a horror! I have made coffee sweet drinks more than once. We need fresh coffee beans. I measure everything to the gram. I grind the grains into fine crumbs. Then I brew it in French press. The coffee will be perfect. Pour it into the cup. And adding some milk. I'm gonna create some foam out of it. I certainly won't spray anyone because I'm unprofessional. And the snowflake decoration. Perfect. Oh my! It's time to try the drinks. The hand itself reaches for a beautiful glass. It's a wonderful cocktail. Also delicious cookies on top. Awesome. It's perfect! Hmm. What cannot be said about the instant coffee? Our grandma wanted to poison her granddaughter! It's impossible to drink. Oh. Coffee foam from the chef with a pleasant aroma. But the hmm. taste is nothing unusual. The baby chooses the beautiful cocktail. Yes, keep it up, sis. You've won again. The next task is for you to drum roll make some waffles. Okay. What? What is it? And I know the recipe. Break the eggs. Add sugar. You can have more so the waffles will taste even better. And get in the way, get in the way, get in the way. Oh, I'm tired of doing that. Perhaps that's enough. And now we can add some flour. How much is needed? Oh, uh, Grandma, I'm sorry, I got you dirty again. More flour, more waffles. Uh, maybe you don't need so much flour. I'll put the excess back. It won't work out that way. But she will definitely like my old grandmother's proven recipe. The dough came out perfect. <laughs> Here! Now you can pour the dough into the waffle iron. And I'm almost done too. Perfect rosy waffles will come soon. <laughs> what are you feeding the baby? No. It is necessary to eat healthy food. We won't need sugar. We better take zucchini. Perfect. Now we're gonna add some eggs. Put flour. And we're gonna create some dough. I'll do it quickly with a mixer. How ugly it looks! And let's try our super healthy waffles. <sighs> They're almost done. Yummy! Perfect! I'll put it on a plate. Add some strawberry whipped cream and berries. I love how it turned out. And I'm gonna put some traditional maple syrup. Pour it all over. Oh my and a piece of butter. <laughs> Lovely. Oh my. Oh, the waffles are done. Green is the color of health. There's not enough beauty in this presentation. I'll make the count's runes and more greenery on top. Bellissimo. <laughs> oh, she's back with her proper nutrition. Here, granddaughter. These waffles look exactly like she wanted them to. But was it this unusual feeling? <gasps> An eggshell! You have to be careful when you cook. And what is this green color? Grass on top again? Still a piece is worth a try. A very small one. <laughs> it smells good. But that still tastes disgusting. What to expect from these waffles? 
Wow, it seems that the baby really liked them. Here's the winner. Hooray, they're mine! I did it! I wonder how long I can spin without stopping! Hey, get together. Okay. I want the most delicious cake. Wow! Cool! I'll make the coolest one. Nice. Anything. Easy. I'm a professional. Yes! What all kind right, of cake right, without right, delicious right. cream? Carefully put another cake, another layer of cream, and another cake, and another, and another. Hmm. Let's see. I'll do something interesting. Great. A heart cake with for my beloved Margot. I'll decorate it a little. Let's take a Kit Kat and some cream. Hmm. It turned out well. Perfect. And I'll add some chocolates on top. Margot will like it. Now I'll show you how a cake should look like. Cut it in half. Put one half on the other. Cut out the middle. And then turn it over. Now I'm going to use the colored cream. It will make the cake look even more like a rainbow. I will align the cream a little and make beautiful fluffy yes! clouds next. Perfect. I'll add cute eyes and a mouth. This is how a real masterpiece looks like. You have no chance. <laughs> it is not necessary that the cake is beautiful. The main thing is that it's delicious. Ah, perfect. What? This mound doesn't even look like a cake. I'm not done yet. Now my cake will also become bright. Milk colored chocolate. Aha. Let's then add some sparkles. And some more, cause girls love sparkles. Wow, that's so cool. Perfect. My cake will definitely win. Wow, it's not a bad idea, but my cake okay. is still better. Wow, what a beautiful bright cake. Perhaps I'll start with it. Awesome. How delicious! I'll try grandma's cake next. Mm. Mm, my favorite sweets and chocolate. Perfect. Yes! Um, what kind of weird cake is this? We'll try it. Uh, it doesn't taste good. No. So the cake from the chef has won. I told you I'd win. And it fix your cap. Let's see who makes the best chocolate with marshmallows. Perfect. Okay. Easy as pie. Yes! I'll do it. Well, why are we sitting? We need to start cooking. My secret to delicious hot chocolate is that I add Margot's favorite chocolate to it. I'll mix it well. Yes! Add some Hershey's. Incredible. Let's mix it again and... I'm going to pour it into the mug that Margot gave me. Look what a beauty with my portrait. Oh my. Big deal. A mug. You don't understand. Now I'll try how I did it. Mm, delicious. Um, okay, as you wish. Okay. Real hot chocolate should be drunk from such glasses, not from mugs. I'll pour hot chocolate now. Okay, you need to whisk the cream and make a beautiful fluffy hat and decorate it with marshmallows. This is how hot chocolate should look like. <laughs> don't touch it with your hands. Um, what should I do? A can of cream. I'll need it. How delicious. We need to make a bigger hat and more marshmallows. Ah, perfect. And also add some candy. Maybe some Oreos. All right, all right. And chocolate right. sauce. Ah, some cookie sticks. No one has done this for sure. Okay. Well. I'll try hot chocolate first from this participant. How many marshmallows? It's so good! It's impossible to stop! Oh, I gave this mug to grandma. <laughs> Although her hot chocolate is so so. I need a straw for this glass. Mmm, delicious! Wow. We need to think a little. Nice. And Andy wins! Hooray! Oh. I'm a real master! Oh, I'm juggling. This time, I want some chips. 
how to cook them. I only know how to eat them. Oh, time without your professional tricks. I'll keep an eye on you. Duh. Um, what should I do? Okay. It's simple. Look, we take the potatoes, we peel them like this. Then cut them like this. Turn on the stove, pour oil, and put the potatoes in. Well, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Uh, I see. Ah. Well, hold on, potato. Ah. Ha! Now, let's add more oil. Ah. There's no time to wait. I'll turn on the stove immediately to the maximum. The lid will be useful for protection. Throwing potatoes, take care. Oops. Um, it seems like it was a bad idea. Be careful, Andy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it turned out perfectly. Mm. Oh, my. Ordinary chips? <laughs> my chips will be really excellent. Let's take the tortillas. Cut them carefully. Now I'm going to take some oil. You still won't be able to repeat after a professional. Hit the oil and fry the sliced tortillas until golden brown. And now, what kind of nachos without cheese? I'm gonna put some nachos on the plate and then melt the cheese. This already looks so good. We'll pour the sauce over our nachos. Decorate with lime slices and you're done. This is an excellent dish. I won't be so happy that early. Hey! Oh, I completely forgot about them! Ugh, they should be put on a plate. Hope Margot likes that. I don't think so. What should I do? Um, let's mm. add some cheese powder. It'll fix everything. Nice. Mmm. Yeah, doesn't seem to help. Okay, let's hope Marco likes it. Oh my. My chips are ready. A little salt, and it will turn out super good. Great. Well, and what kind of embers are these? Okay, I'll try a piece. Oh, what a horror! It's impossible to eat! And these look delicious. Mm, how yummy! Wait, are these chips right, for sure? All right, all right. I'll take a bite. No, no, it's strange. So, Grandma's chips win! Yes! I told you! You heard it! What? Oh, ketchup will come in handy. I want some spaghetti. Okay, no problem. Huh. For sure, okay. dear. If only I knew how to cook it. Well, uh. what do I do with that? Okay, put them in a saucepan. Wait, why don't they fit? How do you cook them? Oh, come on, get in! Uh, wait. <laughs> Stupid spaghetti, I'll show you now. Uh, come on, get in! What are you doing? First, you need to turn on the stove. See? And then put the spaghetti in the water. All right, all right, all right. See? That's easy. Holy They're holy. melting in. Okay. What's the matter? Yeah, you definitely don't have a chance. Hmm. Real pasta is prepared differently. We take the flour. Yes! Pour it out with a slide. Make a recess in the center. Then take the eggs. We carefully break and knead the dough. A little black dye and you'll already get an unusual pasta. It is necessary to cover the dough for a while. I'll make time for it. Let's see. Okay. What? Oh, this what? is a mess. You guys, you all can right, take out the dough right, now perfectly. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna roll it out. Just like so. And now cut it. It turns out like real Italian pasta. Now we're going to boil it. Carefully put it on a plate. Perhaps the octopus is perfect for this pasta. Let's fry it. Put it on top of the pasta and you're done. Awesome! What are you doing? Why so much ketchup? There's no such thing as too much ketchup. Oh. Uh, wait, what's that? Andy, what are you doing? The spaghetti don't want to come out! Huh? Oh, okay, never mind. 
I'll get you now. Uh, it doesn't seem to help me anymore. Uh, my video spaghetti should not look like this. Why are they so difficult to cook? Wait, what if I replace them with ready-made noodles? I can definitely hand it here. Everything. Okay, we're pouring it out. Cover it. And wait a little. Ready-made noodles. Aw, oh, what a horror. These noodles are ready. Cool. Octopus, really? That looks disgusting. Uh, how to eat it? Mm, it's rubbery. What? I can't even take a bite of it. Disgusting. <laughs> Spaghetti with ketchup looks delicious. Let's try it. Mm, it's so good. Mm. Wait, noodles in a box? Interesting. Mm, it seems not bad, but… I'm very spicy! My mouth is burning! Funny! I look like a dragon. So, Andy wins. Yes. <gasps> Did I win? Yeah! That's it for today's Barada challenge. How did you like it, guys? We're gonna see you in our next videos. Bye!